Hello, my name's John, this is an Enforcer Sanctioner Pattern Automata, and you're watching Wargames Models and Other Hobbies. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be making one of the Enforcer Sanctioner Pattern Automatas. I'm going to be doing everything apart from its weapons because I still haven't decided the choice of weapons I want to do on this. But before I get started, I want to talk about one of my previous videos when I started putting together the Taros Venator. In that video, I said I really hope that they release a updated kit of this. Um, and then this happened. And I was really stoked to see that come out. Um, my plan is to buy one when it's released. I'll do a video of a compare and contrast of this original Forge World model to the new Necromunda model that's going to be coming out. Looking at the photo just briefly, if I hold this like that, obviously I haven't finished making this one, but we can see that the turret has got a few different details on it. The um, Roll bars slightly different, obviously the weapons are different and so on. The side panels are very similar but they're missing a few little details. The wheels slightly different and things like the headlights. So there's a lot of little differences in this update to the new model. I will do a compare and contrast as I said. I'm also thinking that I will be starting a new Necromunda gang which I will do all the videos of their creation on the channel so you can see the whole process. So it might take a little bit of time depending on when the Necromunda Venator comes out. But that's why I'm starting this video because I will be including a automata in this gang. I want to field two Venators, the old and the new, and I have some inspiration behind how I want to paint those which I'll reveal in a later video but for now let's get started and I'm going to chat about my ideas for the gang while I make the first automata so I'm going to use the instructions to make the body for this because there's quite a few little bits in this and I don't want to get it wrong sometimes I jump ahead when I'm making these models and I just stick the parts together and end up having to take bits apart because I've done things in the wrong order and this although it's a quite a simple model there are a lot of little parts to it so I'm just going to get all of the bits together that I need and so this gang that I'm thinking about I have a few ash waste gangs in the works I do love Necromunda I do love converting for it and coming up with the gangs and things I really want to start making more of it and playing a few games as well, which I haven't done for quite a while, but it'd be nice to get back into it. But the um, inspiration behind this gang, I'm thinking mainly on vehicles. Then I like the idea that the automata is a, well, it has the rules to give cover to other members of its gang who are partly behind it. So I'm thinking a small crew on foot of enforcers who can walk behind this um, automata to gain cover and so on. It's one of those kits that I think could really look good in a really worn paint scheme. So obviously there's two in this box set. So one of them I might paint up for my underhive enforcer gang so that's something to consider for later on the weapons for this I'm also still pondering so I want to see how many points sorry how many credits it costs to run this gang so in a later video I am gonna run through the whole process of creating the gang on paper so we can see that whole process 
the one thing that I am keen on, like I said with this gang, is have two Venators. And... Apologies, I ran out of memory on my memory card on my camera just then. So I've just sorted that out. So yeah, the um, some inspiration behind the two Venators that I want. I'll just use two names for now and down the line, obviously when I get the other kit when it's released, I'll talk about it more. But I'm thinking about Intercept and Pursuit with maybe a blue and yellow with some accents of red for the colour scheme. If you know, you know. And one of my favourite films of all time, which I'm thinking I will definitely watch after I've done this video. But yeah, it's um the reveals that came out. There's some really nice Warhammer 40,000 ones and Old World ones. Some Kill Team, that kind of stuff. But yeah, the Necromunda, it is what I really like. Originally when I first started getting into the gaming years ago, back in the early 90s and late 90s when After Confrontation Necromunda was released, Epic was my thing, so I'm really happy about the new scale of Warfare that's come out with um, the new Horus Heresy tiny figure box set, which I have managed to pre-order. So I will do an unboxing of that when um, it comes out. Or if not an unboxing, I will do a process of making some of the models and things. But yeah, this is it's quite a nice kit, this one. Let's talk about the things I'm actually doing now. So, the Sanctioner Pattern Automata. If I can show you the instructions. Very similar to the Ambot. You've got the main body is made up of the bottom sides, back, top and so on. And then you've got options for legs, which is quite nice. So, you could have quite a few varieties without even having the same poses but I've had this kit for quite a while and haven't known quite what I want to do with it but yeah I've got a, quite a distinct idea of what I want to do for this gang now I also want to create a little base for them and I'm going to use the um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head but it was released with Kill Team as the um, an STC settlement but really like the idea of having one of those buildings as a patrol house or something like that so that's something that I'm going to think about doing I do actually have one of them as well, which is a benefit. But yeah, with um, all of the Necromunda stuff, I really like the whole story arc that it's recently taken. A bit of glue in the wrong place there, that's okay. Um, I don't want to do any spoilers at the moment for those who don't know the full story arc at the moment. But I will like in 2024 to do a lot more videos on Necromunda and other things that I'm currently exploring in my hobbies. I want to develop this channel further as well to have more than just Games Workshop on it because it's not my only hobby. I do like doing other things. But it is predominantly something that I enjoy and have enjoyed for many years so predominantly it will be most of the videos on the channel and something that I really enjoy at the moment with the channel 
is just making stuff and creating videos and learning how to do that. It's um, my channel's not monetized. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I don't get given any of these items. I buy all of the things that I work on. So sometimes I might go a little bit of time without um, any new items, but I do have quite a back catalogue of stuff that I collect when I'm able to. But I also like the interaction from this channel, the odd comment that people give me. I know I'm not watched by loads and loads of people, but that doesn't bother me. As the part of my hobby that I enjoy is making these videos and learning the process. But knowing that a few people watch them is quite nice. Okay, so that fits on like that. Something that these um, automata do remind me of are the ancient aliens in um, the fifth element. Can't remember the names off the top of my head. I'll have a look. Look it up. I'll put a image on the screen so you can see what I mean. But yeah, their whole their shape really reminds me of that. I think it's just it's the silhouette of them. Right, let's find the neck. There we go. But something that I'd also like to do in 2024, which I've got to work out how to do it. I'd like to show other people's work, other people's hobby. Just to, um, even if it's just a gallery or something like that. So I've got to work out how, how I'm going to do it. But it'd be really nice to show off what other people are doing. Whether it's a regular video or just a one-off. Something that I'd like to do. like to just diversify the content that I can create okay so that head is actually on a little ball and socket to glue it in place so I'm not gonna stick that on until I've chosen the legs and I know the pose that it's gonna be in so let's carry on with the other bit so let's look for the carapace there we go See, so yeah, I'm really happy about the Veneta being re-released. Something that did spring to mind quite quickly, though, when someone made a comment on the actual video when I started making the Forge World one, that they're going to convert it for their Imperial Guard army, for their um, the drop troops, I can't remember their names off the top of my head, then I was thinking, I wonder if they are going to re-release it in Warhammer 40,000. If they are, that would be great, because we'll get some drop troops for Imperial Guard. I mean, the one thing that Games Workshop are concentrating more on at the moment is Space Marines. That's what everyone seems to be getting. I do like the look of the new Dark Angels. I've always liked Dark Angels. But we shall see. I mean, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, they are a business, so they are going to be making and selling what sells best to make the money. Okay, um, now, there's two different leg sets here. We have a striding set and a more stationary, just lifting up the foot. I think I'm going to go with the alternate set. Just, yeah, because I, I, I want it to be striding through the waists rather than just standing there. So it's not going to be part 43 or 49. 
it's going to be the other legs so not 40 three not 49 so it's going to be looks like 50 and 44 so I'm not worried too much about mold lines at the moment either I can always tweak that when I decide what weapons I want to include I have got a few ideas on the loadout I want for this one but I also am aware of the cost when making the gang and I don't want to end up with not many members of the gang but if I have to sacrifice a few just to get the loadout that I want then so be it but still want to have a few people on there and also I need to have half of them as the um, the standard gang or equivalent the patrolman okay so now I need to make the hips for this I need 42 41 and 40 Okay. But yeah, I did. When it comes to talking about playing games of Necromunda, all of the Games Workshop games inherently are multiplayer. Kind of two player if needed. Blackstone Fortress, you can play single player, which I have done. Which single player is surprisingly fun. But I wanted to be able to play Necromunda as. Um, single player see how it goes but also um, to have NPCs that if you play with multiple people neither of you are in control of so I did come up with some basic rules quite a few years ago now it was before Covid and I'd like to get back into them to play test them and kind of work out any Thing that needs kind of tweaking and changing on them. Also, since then, we've had more rules released for Necromunda, so I'm going to have to add some things to it. So that's another thing in 2024 I want to add to the video list. So that's getting that whole NPC and single player variety games for Necromunda up and running. It's a perfect platform, I think, my channel to kind of go through those different rules and play around with a few ideas for that. Also the benefit is if I do videos on it, the few people who watch my channel can make comments about any improvements that I could do, which would be fantastic, because it doesn't always work just trying to come up with the ideas yourself. Sometimes you need people to bounce them off. Right. Let's leave that drying and sort these feet out. So I need how many feet are on here? So there's only the same number of feet as. So I'm going to have a few spare parts left from this, which is quite cool. I always love a spare part for conversions and things like that. So I've a few other Ash Waste gangs that I'm constantly working on. I have a Cordor gang that I've made but haven't painted yet. I have all up gang, um, some squats, nomads. Started working on a Goliath gang, but I've the vehicle that I produced for them, I've kind of fallen out of favour with, and that sometimes happens. You kind of you try something, you like the idea of it, but it hasn't really worked how I wanted it to. So that is something that 
I'm gonna have to work out Right, why is that not connected to anything? Let's try it the other slip. Oh, what's missing from the back of that leg? Oh, interesting. Okay. So, let me have a look at the other sprue. Oh no, that is the same as the other ones. This foot on the back, if we compare the feet, it seems to have a different item on it. Whether it's a mismold or it's missing some detail, but when that goes into the foot, we get that fitting in the little ball and socket on the back. This one, however, doesn't. Whether I'm using the wrong piece, but there's not enough feet to do different ones, so... Okay. Unless that's hidden by something. 47, 46... Hmm. Okay, let me sort out this leg first. So I'm going to need 51, 53, and 54. Hang on. This doesn't look. Okay, I think I've put together. Right, I'm going to cut all the legs out of this and I'm going to choose the ones I want. So this is where I am ignoring what the instructions say and I'm going down my own route. Okay, so feet wise There's always something in a kit that doesn't quite work how you want it to. Okay, they're just standing there now, so that's not what I want. And Okay, yep, those are the ones I want. As I drop it everywhere, move those out of the way. So let's glue these feet in place. So it doesn't make it that clear on the instructions. The layout for the feet, but it doesn't matter. A little bit of looking, playing around, gets you what you need. So yeah, like the other ones, I'll clean up any mould lines or other things later on when I decide on the weapons. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to go... 45 so yeah while I'm cutting these bits out let's talk about a few of my other hobbies as well so I've always loved Lego so that is another hobby that I want to include on this website every now and again website this channel every now and again it's more nostalgia sake I think for that. I have recently been building all of my old kits back together, seeing what parts I need to kind of get to complete the sets as bits of Lego go missing over the years with house moves, growing up, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I wouldn't mind including some build videos 
for some old classics. I do love my films as well. Uh, I'm very into physical media, so I, I do watch streaming services, but I do prefer having my own um, physical media. I do like having DVDs and Blu-rays and even VHS. I do like my VHS collection. But I'm open to all ideas for what to post on this channel. My current experiment which is having AI suggest some videos has actually worked really well it has mean meant that I've produced a lot more content than I would normally do okay Leave that in place. Let's get the other ones. So we've got 51. The other thing that I'd like to know is I'm doing so, like this video, it's um, uncut. So I start recording and it's in real time. I've started to do a few of these over the last few weeks. And I'd like to know what people think. Do you like the to see it just happen in real time when it's making or painting? Or do you like the more consolidated videos which are cut down and shorter? It it kind of it doesn't bother me which ones I make. I have quite enjoyed these longer ones a bit more than the kind of the shorter ones but yeah it's down to what people prefer the one thing I do have to remember though is to make sure I keep things in shot in the video But yeah, it's, I'm always open to comments about videos that you might want to see. Also, I'm open to trying other hobbies. I mean, the name of the channel as well, and other hobbies at the end of it. So if you have any suggestions for me about either games you think I should try, or other hobbies to have a go at, I'm always open to it. So please drop a comment. Okay, let's. Get these legs in place. So the base for this as well, the bases, I'm not going to stick it on one right now. It comes with the Necromunda base, but obviously, as I'm going to use this in Ash Wastes. I'll be using a different base. Okay, that stands up quite nicely there. So, let's have a... The benefit with the plastic kits as well is if you do end up going, oh, I want to put this in a different position, you can always adjust it later on. But if I turn the torso like this, I want it to look a bit more like it's taking a longer stride. So I've just got to wait a little minute while this dries, or dries to a certain level. Okay, there we go. And I will stick the head on as well. I 
think now. And then think about the weapon. So the weapons I was thinking I would like to use the man catcher just because it looks quite brutal. But at the same time it seems to be a it looks like a quite a good weapon for the wastes. Because you think about it catching beasts and things like that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, while that, let's just let that dry for a little bit. Bring this into shot because... So I don't normally do cuts to my videos, but that was my sister giving me a ring because she had a can explode in her food cupboard and she wanted to show me the aftermath on a video call. But anyway, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the Veneta coming out. I'm really interested to see the driver and the gunner on it as well because I'm going to have to convert those. I all I do have some parts for this one coming that I've ordered online. I tried the Necromunda um, heavy stubber because I want it to be a twin link heavy stubber but it it doesn't quite fit, it doesn't quite work so I've managed to find some on eBay from two different kits that I'm going to try out on this and that will be in, in another video. So stay tuned for that one. But let's go back to the automata and see how it's going. And yeah, there we go. There is the body of the Atomata done. Really like this kit. I wouldn't mind maybe converting one into something, but we'll see down the line. I do have another one now. So whether I use that for my underhive enforcer gang or for something else, we'll see. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more over the coming weeks. But for now, thanks for watching. My name's John. And you've been watching War Games Models and other hobbies.